All right, uh, it's the second evening, Cherry Hill Park, and uh, I did go up and resituate. I disconnected the Starlink today, dismounted it from the rooftop that was pointing that way, or it was, it was angled, you know, that way, like it is permanently mounted. I disconnected that, and because it was dropping out every 20 minutes and then restarting with another satellite in the sky. So it said it was pointed like in the opposite direction. So I turned it like 180. Now if you can see it up there, it's pointing uh, back that way. And now it's not disconnected. So even though you can get Starlink with it up there, it might be better off just being flat, you know, instead of angled. I might try that, you know, modify it just to make it flat in the future. But we're, since we're gonna be here for almost a week, I figure I just put it up there. I put it in with the mount that came with it, and it's heavy enough to hold its own. So we're doing that, and I'm cooking out now. He's just taking a potty break. I'm making dinner for us. I already did baked potatoes. They're done. And you might say, hey, Todd, why you fix your propane, I thought. Why are you using the little propane tank and not your quick connect propane? It's just because now I want to preserve the propane since we've got a nice full tank, and we're going to be going up to Canada, and I had some of these you know these Coleman little disposable ones so I'm just using these up I'm gonna still keep one or two as a backup spare just in case we run out of propane in our rig so we always have a spare and these are burn-ins that we ordered from Jack Stacks out of Kansas City we love Jack Stacks they are looking good all you got to do order them online they come in a uh, cooler box put them in your freezer either you know ribs we usually get the ribs we're going to try these for the first time the burn ends and their seasoning on it is really really good i bought a whole uh container of seasoning which you can see on top of them adds really good flavor and you only have to you know reheat them for 20 minutes in the oven or you know we're doing the blackstone since we're outside here and we got a nice patio setting back here there's a trail that runs back beyond up in up in these little woods here we've been on a trail a couple of years ago we might go on it this week too with the doggies again nice trail up there. what's that there's a nice trail up there yeah it is nice nice and shaded yeah probably like it it's nice and cool this evening so it's it's getting into nice weather Here exploring the trails up behind our campsite right there there's trails right in here and pixie loves to explore pixie the explorer and carly the ball player there's a highway or the that's just the road, that's Cherry Hill Road beyond the bushes there. But you hardly ever believe that when you're down here in this campground. Yeah. Wait for me. Okay, we're back out of our trail. Everybody went potty breaks. Let's go. This way. 
Pants. Come on. Pants. Come on. All right, let's take a little tour around this park. All right, the radio just comes on as soon as I start this thing up. There's probably a preset I can do to prevent that. Sometimes it's okay, but sometimes it's kind of loud. So let me see if I can give you a uh, front view. There we go, front view. Now if we come down here, they do have trash stations all about, which is nice, usually on every corner. And this is the main drag coming in here. <clears throat> we'll go up here first. Just to get it from the start to finish. And right here is, uh, here's the bus transit system that comes in here regularly. And you can actually take uh, tours. There's tour buses to Washington DC to view monuments and, and sightseeing and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. And up here is Cherry Hill Road. And that's where the main entrance is right there. They do have golf cart rentals. And there's their main office and store, supply store which I'm going to go check out later. And they do have mini golf in there to the right and a splash pool area and I believe regular pool. And here's the guard gate right here for checking in. See, let's go up here and check this out. This is a waterfalls building. And if we look right here, this is the splash pool area right ahead there. That looks pretty neat for the kids. And we'll continue on. Looks like this is guest parking right here. This is a really, really big park. It's like right on the edge of the uh, Baltimore, uh, Washington, uh, I guess the Beltway. Kind of a unique uh, place for a, uh, a park to be with it that, that is this big you know to have this uh, amount of land to create a uh, rv park this big right alongside of the beltway you've even got log cabins you can rent here and i think last time we checked this way out to the right I don't know if they have more camping to the right or what. It says there's a ballroom up around to the right here. Let's just go see. There's some main power lines going through here. Hmm. I don't know if that's residential through there or what. Let's just go see. Or is this a different part of the park? Oh, this is uh, part of the park. This place is huge. Cherry Hill Park Campground. They've got some yurts here. And 
and more RVs back through here. We didn't even come back here to look for other spots last night. There's some real nice spots back here as well. And it seems really quiet back here. Look at these yurts that you can rent out. Man, this place is big. Well, they, they got some cell towers right there, right on the edge of the park. I'm surprised our T-Mobile was only getting one to two megabytes per second download. Man, there's lots of spots in here. <clears throat> Well, the one good thing is the golf part, the golf cart's been doing really well. Everything's been working, all the accessories I put on, backup camera, the DVR. Well, actually, I guess I'll have to pull the cart and see if the DVR it might have better footage than my Osmo DJI cam. Of course, I'm recording uh, my voiceover sound right now, live with the DJI Osmo cam. I love that camera, it's so portable. Look, there's some tent sites and glamping pods back in through there. Wow. Interesting. Actually, let's drive through there. I see a car back there, so looks like you can drive through here. We'll take a tour. Now, if you want to get really cozy, this is where you rent this little little cabin back through here. Pretty neat. How you doing? Yeah, this is really nice. Little private cabins. There's two people cabins. There's some tent sites back here. You could pitch your own tent and plenty of shade. Feels like I just drove into a cooler box back here. No, the humidity has gone back here. It's really strange. There's a tent right there. Looks like they've got electric hookups back here too you can use. Nice convenient trash containers. Look at the squirrel hanging out there in the trash container. Yeah, this would be a good idea if you want to try tent camping for the first time. And uh, you've got electric hookup and everything. It's nice and cool back here. 
this would be a perfect spot to try out tent camping. Of course, I'm way beyond tent camping at this point in my life. <laughs> that was pretty unique. Awesome. It's kind of like this is a phase two or something of this campground beyond the power lines. And we come back through. And this is where they were showing the ballroom. Looks like you can rent this out. Looks like there's a, some sort of function going on here today. It is the weekend. It's Sunday. Yeah, so you must be able to rent that out. Looks like they got a, like an outdoor kind of ballroom right there too. Some sort of uh, venue you could rent out. And if we go back up around here, I think this was the second spot, our second choice that we wanted to rent if we couldn't get our other one. Who knows, it might have been more level, but it was more out in the open, not as private. It was gonna be this one right here. That's the, that's the spot right there. All right, so we'll go back around here. Now we're in like, this is back to the phase one area. We're gonna go back and ride through here. I'm telling you this place is huge. And I've never seen it this busy, but I'm not surprised. I was surprised on the last couple of years we've been here that most of this place was empty. All right, I think I'm gonna go into their store up here now that I've given you a quick tour. Of course, they got the playground for the kids. I'm gonna go into their store and see if they sell any leveling blocks here. So we'll go back on up here to the office and store area. And I'll check that out. So here's the uh, office and convenience store. Got wood. And here's the actual map of Cherry Hill Park, right there. Good supplies here. I'm looking for some Reflectix. This is the actual pillow that you put in your vent lids. I got a lot of everything here. Maybe they've got leveling blocks. They got lots of stuff. Look at these wheel chunks. No, not quite leveling blocks. Jeez. 
this, possibly. And here we are. Found them. Now to see how much they are. That's what we need. I need to go measure. I need two sets of those. They got a lot of her everything here. You run out of propane. Nice. All right, Carly's getting it down now. She's jumping over the pole now. Let's see. She can do it. Jump. Good. Let me see you jump. Jump. Good. Now she knows how to do it. She always knew. She used to do this when we came here before. She was real good at it. Jump. Good. All right, Pixie wanted to go for a little car ride with me. I got her a little bed. Hey, Pix, do you have fun on little car rides? Yeah, you like little car rides, don't you? Yeah, we're having fun. You look like you're happy. See any squirrels or other puppy dogs? You're looking, aren't you? I don't see any squirrels or puppy dogs yet. We're gonna find some. 